Hello my friends, it is Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a mini living room makeover. We are post Christmas and planning to have some new carpeting installed. So here are just a few before shots of our very old and dirty brown carpet that we are going to be switching out. So in this video, you will see the process of having our new carpet installed the before and after and then also us putting back the room and I'm also going to be sharing a few decor ideas as well and here is what the new carpet looks like in the living room the stairs in the shot were not completed at this time I'll show you up close the comparison between the two colors of flooring oh my gosh this new carpet has completely brightened up our room and it's more of like a light gray color with some beige and gray flex in there as well i do have plans to share with you a few more room makeovers or refresh videos as we did have carpet changed out in quite a few rooms in our home so definitely more of those to come but today i'm just focusing on our living room I would like to just take a minute and say thank you so much for your patience with me as we had all of the carpet installed. It was quite the project. We ended up replacing the flooring in six rooms in our home and we were moving furniture in and out of those spaces the entire week as they just worked from room to room. So it was a lot of work. It was very overwhelming and we were exhausted, but it was definitely worth it in the end and I'm just happy now that with the holidays are over and the carpet is installed we can kind of get back to normal around here. I needed my husband's help to carry a lot of the larger pieces of furniture back into the room. So I just started out with some of the smaller ones, made sure they were all dusted and clean. And then when he got home after work, of course the kids were home as well, we carried in the larger pieces, the TV stand, TV, couches, and we we're all very excited to have furniture again. You got it, Andrew. <laughs> Good job. All of our furniture is now back into the space and I feel like it looks completely different. And to be honest with you, it took me a couple of days to get used to it. I wasn't quite sure if I was liking it all together, but I do, I really like it. It definitely brightens up the room and just changes the overall feeling of this space as well. All of the carpet is installed in our home, but there was one small area in the living room that they are planning to come back later this week and fix. One of the seams was showing pretty badly. So that's in the works to get fixed. And I will share that with you once it happens, of course. But I also thought before we started decorating that I would share with you the stairs as well. Here's a before at the brown worn out stairs. And here's what they look like now with the new flooring. Charlie also approves of the new carpet. It is so soft and comfortable. 
amazing the difference that changing out the carpet makes. But anyways, we are going to get started with decorating. Now I call this more of an everyday slash winter decor. I'm really not targeting a specific theme or anything like that but really just focusing on the neutrals right now and just light touches of decor nothing too overwhelming to start off the year but to the mirror above our couch i have these shelves that i just switch out seasonally i'm just using a lot of basic pieces here some wooden frames some ceramic houses from the target dollar spot and then i've grown to really love having these candle holders out year round that i had purchased from Kirkland's. Back in the corner, I'm going to be adding my fiddle leaf fig tree. This one is a seven foot one that I had purchased from QVC last year. I can link it down below along with anything else that I can from today's video, but I love this one. It's super tall and definitely helps fill the space on this large wall. I did a winter decorate with me video last year that I can also link down below, but I'm using the same exact pillows from that video. These ones are from Kirkland's. They're a year or two old at this point. Uh, I just love the deep green color this time of year paired with the creams and the whites and the black. Time to decorate our tables in the space. Now this tray is one that I purchased last year from Target. It was actually part of the outdoor section Studio McGee line. I'm hoping that they bring it back again this year, but it's a very large size and I just love the color of it. So hopefully they'll have that again. I haven't seen it quite yet, but I did pick up this ceramic pot out of the hearth and hand line that just came out at Target. I just love how simple it is and to this pot i'm going to add this greenery pick that you can find at hobby lobby this side table I am putting back this copper tray that I had to purchase from hearth and hand a little over a year ago it's moved a few places in our home but I think it's been here the longest and I will just switch out the decor on it from season to season to the tray though I'm going to be adding this creamish vase it's actually a set of three from Amazon that I will link for you they're just a really cute size and obviously something that you can use year-round the little ball greenery that I added. I found that at a local shop, so sadly I cannot link it, but I love just a small pop of greenery and a few pieces of decor on each of our side tables. Now the links as well as the jug that I'm adding to this side table, you should be able to find right now at Hobby Lobby. I almost decided not to use my blanket ladder right now, but I wanted something to balance out the tall fiddle leaf tree that you saw me just add on the other side of the wall. 
And when I do hang blankets on the ladder, it helps conceal a lot of our cable boxes and internet things. So I did pull it back out. I'm just going very simple, two little chunky throws to finish off this corner. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I'm really just going for very neutral and simple decor this time of year. It's just refreshing to start out the year with a clean slate because I know me and I know that as the year progresses, I will add in more color and decor as we go. But we have half of the room decorated. Let's move on to the TV stand and mantle now to finish off the room. Most of you know that we just got a new puppy and so we have lots of toys. So our TV stand is mostly functional at this point and not a lot of decor. These two little totes or organizers are from Target. I had a more wicker type basket in there before, but of course Charlie was chewing it up and we cannot have that. So I switched those out and they match the TV stand really well. So I ordered a few new pieces from Kirkland's to start off the year. This moss ceramic bowl arrangement was one of them. As you can see, it arrived cracked, which is super sad. However, they are sending me a new one. So in the meantime, I'm just going to flip it around so you cannot see the broken part of the pot. And then I have another one of these copper trays. This one is a little bit smaller. I think you can still buy this from Hearth and Hand, but it is very small. So I'm just adding a couple of small decorative pieces that I had from many years ago. I have to be very careful what I put in here because with a puppy, he is chewing on all the things. So puppy and kid friendly at this point. Another one of the pieces that I had ordered from Kirkland's was this lamp. Now this blends two things that I was shoving in this corner into one. If you remember, I had that three tiered shelf and a lamp and it was just too cramped. And this is the perfect alternative to not having too much stuff crammed into one small corner. So super happy that I was able to get this with a Christmas gift card. But to the top shelf, I'm just adding one of these book boxes. I can try to link them from Amazon if they're available. And one of my hearth and hand plants. And then to the bottom shelf, I'm still working on what I want to add. I had a plant down there, but Charlie was chewing on it and I just knew it wasn't going to work out. So more to come. I think I'll know it when I see it. And maybe when I pull out my spring decor, I will find something that will work even better. But for now, just a lantern and a family picture to finish it off. Now it is time to work on our mantle. Now for years I have had my round clock hanging above the fireplace. So I really haven't done anything fun with my mantle decor, but I did change it out over the Christmas season and I've just decided to leave the clock where it is and try to come up with some new ideas for our mantle. It's kind of fun to freshen things up after you've had them the same way for so many years. And so I'm just adding back this black, I don't even know what you would call this, window wall art piece. And I do have it attached to the shiplap with just a command strip so it does not fall. And the final piece that I had picked up from Kirkland's was this arch. It's actually a very deep green color. It is beautiful. I specifically purchased it for layering on our fireplace, but I feel like there are so many ways you can use it. And I think it also came in blue as well. So all three pieces actually on the fireplace have been collected over the years and they are all from Kirkland's, which should not be a surprise to any of you because that is like my favorite store to shop for home decor.
to balance out the candlesticks, I'm adding this vase with the greenery. You can find this greenery at Target right now. I just picked up one stem and stuck it in this face to complete the mantle. Now I see myself using a few of these pieces in my spring decor as well, specifically the green arch and probably the candlesticks as well. The black piece is maybe a little bit too tall, but I'm just kind of going with it for now. It does not need to be perfect, but it definitely feels good to have our room all put back together and decorated. Let me know below in the comments what you think of the new carpet. It took me a few days to get used to it. I think I mentioned that already, but absolutely so happy with it. And I wish you could smell how good it smells. New carpet, so fresh and so clean and just excited to decorate it now the remainder of the year throughout the seasons. So you can see Charlie, he really loves the vacuum. <laughs> But anyways, coming up here on my channel, I am going to be sharing with you what my office looks like next. We'll be doing some Valentine's Day decorating. And then I also have a master bedroom refresh that I'm going to be sharing as well. So definitely make sure you're subscribed if you are not already. But that is going to be it for today's video. Thumbs up as always if you enjoyed it. I thought I would share with you one last before and after look at our living room. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.